A meeting of two sides who have been very much at the heart of the English football story in recent years. It's Blues against Reds, Chelsea versus Manchester United, live from Stamford Bridge on EA TV. Hello everyone, great to be with you from Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Chelsea up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Matthijs de Ligt plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And Goro Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea stands between the posts. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Frenkie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. to be a really interesting battle Chelsea kick off the referee correctly decided to play advantage N'Golo Conte this is Thiago Silva and Chelsea moving the ball forward what can they do from here intervention just then amid impending danger he's driven in the corner thumped clear Conte Maguire. This is Varane. De Jong. Scott McTominay. Bruno Fernandes. Maguire. Bruno Fernandes has it. And they have possession again. And played through by Sterling. Well, it nearly worked out. And a fine interception. And the flag had to go up. It wasn't close. And Goro Conte. On to Jorginho. This attack looks highly promising. The cross played over and work to do defensively. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Opportunity it is. And a goal by Cristiano Ronaldo. So typical of him. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, but I think the defending is poor. How can the goalkeeper be left so exposed with two players running at him? Mind you, it's still a great team goal. 1-0 then. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. On and on he goes. Will it be the leveler? That's 
a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Who can they pick out? Oh, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Werner. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Really good high press. Can they hit on the break? And give it away. This might have potential. Crossed accurately towards the far post. And up for grabs off the keeper. And problem solved for now. Frankie de Jong. De Jong. It's going to be United's free kick. He plays it short. Bruno Fernandes. Sancho. Oh, good looking run. Real chance. Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Well, that save just about keeps them in this. But they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. Cristiano Ronaldo. Not a good pass. Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Clean challenge. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Now the story surrounding Cristiano Ronaldo is usually a positive one and tonight no exception. Well I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And the ball moving again, advantage United but plenty of time for a few twists and turns here. An important interception. Given away by Manchester United. Ronaldo. And offside by a very small margin. Werner. On to Jorginho. Given away by Chelsea. Encouraging stuff from United. Well, that looked to be quite dangerous, but just a fraction off. And taking it away. Werner. How can he take them on and beat them? Now ruled to have taken up an illegal position only just. And they will make the change now. De Jong this could pose problems for the defenders and running in behind 
Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So 2-0 now. Well, he's beaten his man comprehensively. And Neymar has done it! And it's fair to say the best finishers in the world don't really have to think about it. They just do it. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And it's a good run, matched by a very cool finish. What a great goal that is. Well, they get the ball rolling again. And Chelsea are giving this a real go. Well, no stopping him. Surely the equaliser. What an astonishing few minutes from seemingly out of it. It's all square again. Can you believe it? Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Bruno Fernandes. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Ronaldo. Might be a chance here. It's still alive. Oh, how on earth has he missed that? What a glorious opportunity. Well, the flag's gone up and he was offside. But he didn't know that when he took his shot. Here's a change for Manchester United. Number 25, Jadon Sancho, coming onto the pitch. Number 10, Marcus Rashford. Well, this is such a good watch. Both teams have played their part in a great game with plenty of good forward play. I'm sure we'll see more goals before the end. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. could be the equaliser and not cleared away properly and a goal well it looks easy when you can put them away like that well when you see this again I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky he makes a good initial save but the ball comes off of him rebounds straight to an attacker and the finish is excellent well, if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Wonderfully weighted pass. Oh, but there's defensive dump. Must take the lead here. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Rafinha. Can they nudge in front late on here? Neymar is at the back post. Chelsea have won themselves a corner. Now what can they do with it?
Time for a change then. Can he deliver it with accuracy? It's going to be United's free kick. Crisp tackling. He's in here. Great save at this stage. Well, that would have been the winner for sure. It's a great save. Going short. It is now with Jorginho. Can he convert? Body in the way. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Bruno Fernandes. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. The high press was on and that's a... And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, here's the replay, and when you've got the ball at the back, you've got to pass it forward, and he doesn't do that there. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. for full time and here's the big story no points at all for Manchester United well Derek not quite good enough today yes they only lost by one goal but I never felt they were in control of the game a frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time but it really is wonderful to watch Raheem Sterling when he's on top of his game and that has certainly been the case here Stuart well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.